Yo, what is going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy Clash Rope here. What I got for you today is an awesome video talking about some Clan War Go White three stars Town Hall nine, and we're gonna throw in some Town Hall eight Hog Rider raids at the end of this video just to show you guys a little bit of how close this war was. It was a very good war that we had against this clan. Awesome uh, people to war against. If you ever get matched against this clan, they're gonna really take it to you. It's only 15 on 15, guys. I don't do the 20 versus 20 or 25. We've really uh, haven't had. Uh, that many members. So we got West going in with the Go Wipe attack. A nice little haste spell to accelerate his troops to get into the center of that base. That's real nice. He accelerated those golems so those uh, so that the the clan castle troops would have stayed on the golems. So the wizards and the queen could have take out the the dragon and the loons. What really helped his raid is how his his heroes actually went to the outside. Normally you want your your uh, troops going into the core, but look at this base. It's got a really nice, good core setup where your troops would actually get stalled in the core while everything else will just shoot at you. But he does have a ring outside lair, so where his troops can walk around the whole entire base. So it was actually good that his tr uh, his king and his queen passed to the outside while his uh, uh, Pekka and like the golems went to the center. It took out all that major defense in the middle, and he came from the opposite side of the town hall, knowing that all those defensive and uh, like bombs and traps were on the other side. Really nice attack done by West here. Really thought out plan and three star and he didn't just go in in this space. You saw a nice spread, four golem spread on a go wipe, only bringing ten wizards. So not much like wizard firepower, but it's a really nice tanky army. You got a lot of tank troops. Pekos are real tanky. Hero, your king's real tanky. Queen's got a lot of health herself, but only level nine king or level ten king, level nine queen. Still a, a nice three star attack. And by OS, and you can see he's just cleaning up. We've got only one wizard and a couple archers on the outside cleaning up everything. That's how it's going to play into uh, the final bit of this raid. Archer Queen uh, using her ability. Not luckily that Pekka went to the outside because you're going to see that Archer Tower is going to start targeting as soon as it gets to that barracks. So that Archer Tower is targeting the Pekka. Pekka's going around. Wizard, one wizard still left. King still alive, surprisingly. Queen, unfortunately, is going to town on a wall, but that's. <laughs> we've seen that before. So it looks like the P.E.K.K.A. and the King are going to get the job done here at the end. I do believe the P.E.K.K.A. actually goes down. Actually, nope. P.E.K.K.A. is still alive. They're going to just smash at this uh, Dark Drill, and that's going to be the three-star raid for Wes. Nice attack by Wes. Really thought I'll... And let's move on to the next replay. So next, we got Lauren going in. Queen Lauren, that's what I should say, with a three-golem go wipe against this base. Now, notice that these bases aren't max, but these are the type of bases you look for in Clan War. So, she tried to send in those wall breakers, mortar blew it up, so she, luckily she had some more. Notice how she went away from the clan castle and kind of the the uh, the archer queen, but the king does revert to the archer queen, taking her out and getting everything towards the center. Like I said, guys, good core of this base, but that ring all around the outside, everything's so open where a, a P.E.K.K.A. could tank for a couple wizards, your golem can tank for your, your queen. And it's just going to be an awesome attack. I mean, you're going to see this attack comes really close towards the end. But it was a nice attack. Really getting the three-star. The space was one-star previously. Actually, I think I attacked the space with my Town Hall 9 account with Go Wee Wee. And I couldn't three-star it. So that was surprising. And so the queen going around the outside. So this was a well-thought-out attack coming in from the right side of the space. I think that was a good choice instead of coming. Because these southern teasers really want you to come from the bottom. You notice all those giant bombs, traps are right there, so you really want to avoid that section of the base and deal with it more towards the end, because in the beginning you don't want your attack to die out. That's what the really makes a go wipe die is when it just there's not enough firepower left from it, and it just you can see it slowing down. You know, Pekka's are just taking their time bashing like a, a storage or something, and it just really dies out while all the defense can shoot. So at the end here, he does have a that level five golem stayed up the whole entire time. It's gonna split into golemites. I think I already did. Queen and one wizard and a couple wizards are actually taking out the rest of this base, while a Pekka tanks for everything. So a queen's going to town. Actually, that cannon's gonna start targeting this queen right now. Queen's actually taking quite a bit of a beating. She gets down to well below half health. And you're gonna see right here. I'm gonna speed it up just a little bit, and a giant bomb does go off. So look how much health she has. Not much, so the ability is going to be activated. And I don't think if she would have targeted that cannon, this would have been a three-star attack. But in the end, it is. So <laughs> nice three-star attack with Go Wipe, guys. So we're going to throw, like I said, we're going to throw in some hog raids uh, this, against this clan because it really did come out, come down to who could three-star the Town Hall 8s. 
in this war. So and it was really on us. And Alex gonna go in here with hogs. Nice lure of the CC. I would I would say guys, you're gonna see my attack with my Town Hall 8 account and how I do my hog raids compared to uh, like someone in my clan. I'm not saying he's bad at it, but I would have done it just a little bit differently. He throws all of his cleanup troops at the end, but it's not gonna really matter because this base is kind of like it's really easy to attack. There's no spots for double giant bombs. He's going to send in a few group of hog riders to take out those first couple of defenses, followed up by some more. That I believe on the left side, he's going to just let it all, all out. And at the end, you're going to see a nice, perfectly placed heal spell on the last few defenses. Uh, the heal spells on this could have been placed a little bit better, but in the end, he did have one giant bomb in the middle of the base. That was, that was the only giant bomb I saw go off in this raid. So, a couple hogs left. Actually, a lot of hogs left. Oh, there's another giant bomb going off way at the gold storage. So, look at that heal spell. Really anticipating those hogs going over that last cannon, and bam. Just like that, guys. This raid's over. Anytime you have a huge group of hogs, and there's a lot of buildings around them, and they split real nice. I don't like the, the fact he brought some wall breakers, and you're going to see his king's going to go right towards the center and take out that town hall. That was a pretty good, like, that's a smart move right there. I'm not saying bring wall breakers with your attacks, but that was, you know, props on him for uh, bringing those wall breakers to break through the core and have his king go for the tunnel. So you see, just clean up the rest of his base, zooming in and out, just to show you that dragon actually stayed alive, and I do believe it goes down here eventually, but it's going to still help with the cleanup. It did a real nice job. Bringing a dragon with your hog attacks, or using hogs in your dragon attacks, is really awesome, guys. You should do it more often. Yeah, that's what I, I used to do with dragon hog attacks. So as you see, clean up the last elixir storage. Uh, I, I, oh, that was nice. Three star from Alec in this war. And here, I gotta say, this was a well planned out attack by me. So props to me. No props to anybody else. Because I believe three other people tried to attack this base. And couldn't get the second star on this base. So this base was one star. So it was definitely up to me to get that second star and go at this base. So as you can see, I lured out that CC troop and I immediately dropped my poison spell on it. Normally nowadays you're going to see a dragon and a loon in the CC with a new poison spell update. Just let that poison spell do its toll on the dragon. Let it get it down to about half health. So half health dragon is really going to be easier to take out because I can only I only have to use like four to three wizards and uh, like two barbarians to distract while the wizard shoot down this dragon as you're gonna see right here i drop one barbarian to distract drop another wizard i'm really patient on this attack uh it does take out one of my wizards but i didn't need to drop that third one but i did so now begins the hog portion of this raid well this way i do attack i you gotta really get everything going you have to uh, start your attack as soon as this happens guys so big group of cogs coming in from the right side splitting up a kind of easy Guys, first heal spell does go down over underneath those wizard towers, those Teslas, and those air defenses. I think it could have been placed a little better. I dropped the level 5 hogs on a spot where the giant bomb was going to be, and I was going to throw a heal spell right there, right where the wizard tower is. So a giant bomb does go off, and I still have a huge group of hogs. So it literally, it's already time to start cleaning up. I start dropping my king, maybe hit for him to distract some defenses. And look how many hogs I have left up on this guy's base. I've only lost, like seven or eight hogs and the king's gonna about to go down we do hit a giant bomb here right here no heal spells but we're okay the hogs still have plenty of health if i would have lost all those hogs right there i think we would have been looking at a uh <laughs> a one star <laughs> so i was really nervous when that giant bomb went off but i gotta realize hogs have a lot of health so guys this was an awesome war we had and at the end you're gonna see how close it was it actually was I can't believe it came down to the wire. We actually, they actually had two attacks left that they could probably use and tied this war, but we would have won on destruction rate. I think that's the new, yeah, that's the new clan war tie thing. So last ba building going down and getting a three star on this dude's base. So as you see, we won 38-37. We are actually on a five war win streak, guys. Thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more Clash of, Con Clash of Clans content. And I'm out, guys. Peace.